Hello there, Powder Keg. I'm Brian Zane, joined as always by the impresario of POW, Mr. Ula La. Welcome to another exciting edition of POW Pro Wrestling. And Mr., let's talk about the POWies for a second. The voting is still coming in, still open. You still have time to make your voice heard and vote at the links in the description for all the different categories of the POWies this past year. You've got Wrestler of the Year, Match of the Year, Most Loved, Most Hated, Rookie of the Year, Tag Team of the Year. It's your chance to let us know who you think are the best and brightest of POW Pro Wrestling. Mister, uh, did you vote, by the way? Uh, I abstained, personally. I felt like it wasn't right to meddle in the uh, affairs. We have a separate clearinghouse handling the votes for me. Wow. For us, so I... You not meddling in something? That has to be. Is that a New Year's resolution? Did you make a resolution I didn't know about it? Uh, no comment. Okay, well, we'll leave it at that. Although I will say there's a big upsurge in write-in votes for one Vincenzo Massaro, most popular, mm. from a completely anonymous IP address over there in uh, Paris, uh, Texas. Paris, Texas. Oh yes, I've heard about Paris, Texas. Lovely town. Well folks, of course, we are back in action, back in a big way here in 2023, and we are kicking things off in grand style with an epic eight-man elimination tag team match. Months in the making, as the Massaro family do battle against Funny Bone, Drexel, Charlie Avell, and everyone's favorite homeboy, Chris Brady. I know the name Funny Bone sends chills up your spine, mister, but if you will allow me here, we're gonna talk a little bit about the history between these two factions. It starts way back last year in the Lumberjack match for the PAL Pro Wrestling Championship, when Vincenzo Massaro managed to pull out all the stops and pull out a very sneaky, successful defense of the belt. That's right, there was a little bit of a of the ring there, sitting idle, and you know, somehow it connected to Funny Bone's jawbone, <laughs> and down he went. Vincenzo Massaro and I's alliance was revealed, and all was well in the Massaro family universe. Well, all was well for a little bit. We go now to the alley fight at Blair Alley. Oh yes, I know this memory does not sit well with you. Of course, that was another match between Massaro and Funny Bone for the championship. That saw Massaro walk away once again the victor, but it came at a price, and it came at the price of the, the, the skin on your back, mister. That's right, I couldn't uh, drink a glass of Perrier for months without a little bit of it sprinkling at my back holes there. That sounds like a hilarious visual, but of course the feud between Massaro and Funny Bone did not end there. Of course, at the next time at Blair Alley, we had three stages of hell for the PAL Pro Wrestling Championship. It was brutal, it was bloody, it was violent to say the least. But at the end of the day, at the third fall, it was Funny Bone who came out on top and took the championship away from Massaro after several months as champion. Brad Vincenzo, as you know, has been training hard, training hard for every piece of pizza he eats. He does an hour of cardio for every uh, bite of rigatoni. He does 50 push-ups. And also we've been talking to our lawyer back there in France, uh, Pierre Le Bleu, along with the uh, Italian Massaro family consiglia, mm -hmm. uh, Gianni Fenellini, to get that rematch Finally, mm -hmm. for the chance of despite your best efforts to stall that rematch. Well, you know what? Vinny was a great champion, but like so many else, other people in POW, he's got to get in line. There have been other challengers, like, for instance, Chris Brady. When he won the Blair Alley Wrestle Rally, he called his shot, he challenged Funny Bone to a match, and even though Brady did not win the match or the championship, he definitely proved his worth, proved his grit and his toughness. He really gave Funny Bone a match that he's not going to forget. In the end, I think he earned Funny Bone's respect. As we saw in the aftermath of the match, when the Massaro family came a-calling, it was most violent, and the new, I guess, honorary member, Chris Brady, holding the line. And that's what brings us to our main event tonight, folks, the eight-man tag team elimination. I gotta admit, there's a lot on the line with this one. No championships, per se, but a lot of pride. A lot of pride and a lot of future stakes, perhaps, if one commissioner's paying attention. I'm always paying attention. I was right there at ringside watching the action. I know you were there too, mister. Of course, hey, how about that reception that Vinny Massaro got when he made his way out? A hero's welcome, you know, the, the powder cake was just waiting for Vincenzo's, uh, like the prodigal son returning, you know? Yes, when that song kicked in, when it was that Samori, I was definitely hearing a lot of noise. Maybe it wasn't cheers. Maybe it wasn't a hero's welcome, but maybe, you know, it's a matter of perspective. It's a matter of, it's, it's different perspectives. I think perhaps that. something was lost in the translation. They were cheering in Italian, mm. but to your uncultured English ears, it sounds like something else. 
Yeah, so I know they were telling him he was number one as well. Well, folks, enough talk from us. Now it's time to hear from the two teams, the two different warring factions, as they are getting ready to collide in a hellacious eight-man elimination match. It's most violent versus the Massaro family right now. Bonjour, Pal Pro Wrestling has returned, and with it we have brought the magnificent, the marvelous Massaro family who are going to destroy those miscreants of most violent tonight in a eight-person elimination match. Vincenzo, tell them. Listen, I don't even care who you have in this match. All I care is that I gave my hands on Funny Bone. Because when I beat the living hell out of that weird-looking dude, <laughs> I'm coming after the POW Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. That's right, boys and girls! Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Masaro family, and we're focused on the main thing, Billy Masaro being the POW Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion once again, and getting it off of that moron funny bone, that loser funny bone. Your time is now, pal. You're going down, because the whole Masaro family wants you. Survive if you can. Exist if we allow you to. <laughs> See, there's many differences between us and the Masaro family. But one I'll point out to you motherfuckers tonight. You four men are put together due to weakness, due to being fucking cowards. You're put together because you need each other hold each other up. We're together through motherfucking violence. See, most violent, we fuck people up first. And if they're good enough, we let them have some fun with us. We're born out of violence, chaos, and blood. And if you expect anything fucking different from us tonight than exactly that. Oh boy, you're gonna have a long fucking night. <laughs> we come here to do what we always do. And that's prove when lose or draw, we are what we say we are. And that is most violent. Most violence for the children. <laughs> Let's go play, boys. <laughs> I'll tell you what, folks, this is a match months in the making with huge implications as the Massaro family do battle with a team of most violent in this eight-man elimination main event match, Jonas. We got a lot of moving parts here, a lot of animosity. This is just waiting for that spark to explode. 
We are starting out in a big way here. Vinny Massaro and Funny Bone rivalry re revisited. Of course, you know it was Funny Bone Jonas who wrested the PAL Pro Wrestling Championship from Vinny Massaro at Blair Alley, and apparently that's not what we're getting right now. One of the darkest days in PAL Pro Wrestling history. And here comes the young gun of the Massaro family. That's right. Malcolm Flex, the heavy hitter, the honorable one himself, hopes to make this an outstanding 2023. And we're starting off in grand fashion here. What better way to do it than come right at the champion? Oh boy. Uh oh. A lot of words exchanged. You got to believe this is going to be a heated confrontation. A lot of history here. Of course, Chris Brady is, uh, I guess you could call him an honorary member of Most Violent after what we saw. Painted out like a jack o' lantern. Keeping with a the theme, I suppose. It is far from Halloween, but it is a spooky time here with most violence involved. A lot of heated words being exchanged. They're not trading cookie recipes, I'll tell you that much. Big collision. No. Shoulder tackles. Neither man really effective here. Oh. They are just slapping meat. And the fans are here for it. I don't think, I think Malcolm Flex is a bit taken aback by this, Jonas. Yeah, I think he expected a Mo Funny Bone over, but Funny Bone to not budge an inch. Here we go. Now Charlie Avell in the ring. He is the young gun, the apprentice in most violent, but learning under the tutelage of Drexel, of Funny Bone. Learning such techniques as using paper to slice open the skin of your opponent. I mean, hey, an education's an education, Jonas. Greco-Roman forehead biting. Uh-huh. Oh, it, yeah. It bites a forehead, a very effective move in the old video games. Did you ever go outside? Does it look like I went outside, Jonas? And now in comes the big man, double B, double bad. It's Bubba Blanchard taking his shots. A rare shooed performance by Bubba here. Normally he wrestles barefoot. Kind of surprised to see him wearing, wearing the sneaks. Yeah, an interesting look for uh, old double B. Well, he's uh, fully matching with his brother Jeremy here at this point. Oh my God! Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Are you kidding me, Brian Zane? Charlie Avell not getting paid by the hour. He has some deceptive strength here with that big takedown. He's gonna do it again? Are you kidding me? Oh! Put the women and children to bed. An elimination match. The first. Elimin you know, it's very important to try to get that true. edge. This is an elimination style. It is not one fall to a finish. Last team standing is going to be the winner, no matter how many people are still in the match. But once you are eliminated via pinfall, submission, or disqualification, you go back to the showers, my friend. Now, wait a minute. Here we go. Bubble with a roll up here. Could be it already. Now, wait a minute. Cheap shot by the Massaro family sends Charlie Avell to the elimination zone. No, I'm not, I'm not trying to tell tales out of school, Brian Zane, but I think uh, Jeremy Blesher might have a little something extra on that punch. Uh, you better believe it. There's always something sneaky going on there in the corner of the Massaro family. The Massaro family suddenly up now, four to three. Oh, oh man, oh. wow. Are you kidding me? Wow, well, what a, what a pal Jeremy Blanchard is. You slap Funny Bone in the face, and then you throw Malcolm Flex to the Wolves. Now, is that a good team maneuver there, Jonas? Hey, it's, you know, switching it up. Malcolm Flex, they've already exchanged words. They've already exchanged shoulder tackles to no effect. What do you think Flex is going to throw at the champ now? Oh, here we go. Now, Bone throwing the first move. A rare technical maneuver here. Fundamentals with the headlock transitioning the uh, top wrist lock by Flex. I tell you what, Malcolm Flex has been, you know, 
It's been weird seeing him try to earn his respect in the Massaro family. He's been doing so much dirt. Hey, now. Doing so much dirty work for the Massaro family, but you can see guys like Vinny, guys like Bubba telling him to stay in his place. What do you think of that, Jonas? Hey, in the family, everybody's got their role, all right? Vinny's at the head of the table. He's at the top of the Look organizational out. Oh, chart. Oh, my goodness. I think his head just got rocked with that knee. Oh, gosh. Beautiful. Goal. He almost just threw Malcolm Flex right onto the whole team. I don't know what's going on here. Oh! Using Drexel as a weapon. Spilled on the outside. Every Massaro family member going down safe for Mr. Ooh La La. And now it's breaking down. And now this fight's taken to the outside. Everyone's out. Uh, I'm not even sure who's legal at this point. Drexel asking for some paper. Here oh, we go. Dre oh, no, not the paper. Turn around, ref. Come on. Not the paper. Oh, oh, oh. no. Vinny Massaro getting his paper cuts in. And now it looks like Jeremy's going to be next. Oh, dear. Ooh la la, run. No. Get out of there, mister. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not yet. Miss Vinny, I'm sorry, you just got paper cut in a bad way. Run, mister. Oh, no, wait a minute. Now, Jeremy Blanchard, that was a chain. No. And the referee cut every minute of that. That chain that's helped the Blanchards win a bunch of matches. What? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, going for the for the, the Franken beans. Now that's getting, oh no, wait a minute. Drexel, you, you what can't are you do doing? that. What are you doing, Drexel? Oh, I mean, this has got to be, this has got to be, what, what, what do you call that, ref? What do you call that? I think they're both out. They're both gone. Well, it's a tit for tat. Jeremy Blanchard got eliminated, got disqualified for this chain you see here, Jonas. And now... I don't know where that chain came from. Drexel's on his way back, too, with that uh, very illegal grab of sorts. He grabbed, you know, the wrestler and the referee. That's, I don't care who you are. That's a disqualification right there. And right now, it is a two-on-three two on, two on three situation here. It is Bubba Blanchard, Malcolm Flex, and Vinny Massaro with a three-on-two advantage against Chris Brady and the champion in Funny Bone. Oh my God, oh Jesus. Chris Brady almost fell right onto our table. I tell you what, this is violence. This is chaos personified, Jonas. We might have to move here. If we want to preserve ourselves, we are but humble commentators. We are not participants in this match. That's right, are we getting hazard pay for this? Ouch! I didn't sign up to be on the front lines. I mean, this is getting intense. This is getting insane, folks. We gave, we promised you a war. We promised you faction warfare, and you are getting that in the worst way. But now Funny Bone shaking off those chops. They have no effect. This is getting, this is getting ridiculous, folks. Folks on YouTube watching at home or on your devices, be glad that you're watching through a screen right now because everyone here from the front row to the back is feeling this intensity. Yeah, no, nowhere is safe inside this building, oh, I'll tell you that goodness. much. These fans at World Pies in downtown Eugene, they are getting a war and I don't know if this will settle the score, but the fans are getting their money's worth. Here we go, Funny Mo now in no man's land. He is, uh, we are now, oh my goodness, look out, oh! Brady just almost landed in a fan's lap. He had to clear our table in order to do so. Better them than me. Now Jonas, let me ask you a question. You're down three to two, you're down. Oh no! I was gonna say, what do you do? I would probably say, 
don't hit your own tag team partner. Chris Brady with a drop kick setting Vinny Massara out of the ring. Funny Bone with that cover. Oh! oh. oh. And suddenly we are down two to two. It's all even here. You have Flex, you got Massaro, you have Funny Bone, you got Brady on the other side. And I tell you what, Chris Brady, who made a hell of a name for himself at Blair Alley when he stood toe to toe with a demigod of death in Funny Bone, is in a huge run against V Massaro. Everyone's favorite homeboy. Showing the moves, he's popping, he's locking, he's doing a dance, and he's throwing it down against Vinny Massaro. Could be it here. Now I tell you what, that dancing, I know that doesn't sit well with Funny Bone. I thought that Funny Bone slapped the dancing out of his system last time at Blair Alley, but he's got a few moves left in him. Oh! Brady with some uh, spooky paint of his own, real fitting in with the vibe of most violent drop and flex with a DDT. Chris Brady's just constant motion. Ah, Vinny Massaro, who I don't believe was the legal man here, either that or Flex wasn't. I've lost, I've lost control of this thing. Do you know? I, don't ask me, I'm not keeping score. That makes two of us. Referee doesn't even know. Oh, out of the corner goes Chris Brady. And now, with the offensive, is Brady with the punches in the corner. Wait a minute. Oh, come now, on. Chris, this is not the time to be grandstanding in a hot dog, in my friend. Like I said, this eight-man elimination match with some extreme implications. Whoever wins this matchup could, could help contribute to the last stand and the demise of the losing team. Vinny Massaro was laid out. Yeah, I just noticed this, Jonas. Does uh, Vinny have a deal with Adidas right now with those boots? Wait a minute. No! Oh! Oh, snoring elbow, putting Chris right. Brady to sleep. And that does it for everyone's favorite homeboy. Well, folks, this could be, I hate to tell you this, this could be Funny Bone's last stand. I was gonna say Team Funny Bone down to their final out. It's the bottom of the ninth, gotta dig deep. The POW Pro Wrestling Champion is all by himself. As he is now in a two on one situation. I'm not gonna go so far as to call it unwinnable, but Funny Bone is now going toe to toe with two of the heaviest hitters in POW Pro Wrestling. So I have to ask you, Jonas, what do you think Funny Bone's odds are coming out on top of this one? Uh, well, he's a demon, so let me put it this way. He's got about a snowball's chance in hell. I don't know, I think him being a demon might put him at a 50-50 shot. Luckily, I'm not a betting man. This has become an all-out fight, an all-out battle for survival. Funny Bone giving you everything he has here, showing you he's not just a pretty face, not just a man in makeup, but he is a fighter, a survivor. The one thing about Funny Bone, if he's going down, he's going down swinging. Oh, absolutely. Whoa. And talk about swinging, Malcolm Flex swung for the fences with an outstanding lariat. And that should be it right there. No. Then he's doing a slight disservice to his team for a second right there. I mean, that you're right, he took the referee's eye off the ball. That could have been a three count if he had the chance to come down with it early on. And in comes, in comes the former champ, the leader of the Massaro family, the man who does his bidding for Uncle Sal and who's all about the money. These fans showing their, I guess their lack of appreciation for Vincenzo Massaro here. Oh, oh my goodness, if the impact of the turnbuckle wasn't enough. Vinny Massaro getting no respect from the powder keg here in Eugene. Not even a two count. Shows you the strength and the wherewithal of Funny Bone and the resilience and the fighting spirit to be able to keep getting up from what the Massaro family is dishing out. That's just a good old fashioned joke. Oh. I mean, it's already a two on one situation. Why not bend the rules a little bit? 
Why not use a chain? Why not grab people by the testicles? This battle is really showing you these men are gonna give you everything and then some to show who is the dominant team here in Pow Pro Wrestling. And now, with Vinny Massaro coming in to pick the bones of this heated rival. I gotta say, Flex is really filling his role perfectly in this contest. Absolutely, you gotta believe these two are gonna be like a well-oiled machine when it was down to Brady and Funny Bone. As much of a bond as they may have formed since their battle at Blair Alley, they didn't have the chemistry that you see on display with the Massaro family. And now Vinny going in for the kill here. No! Funny Bone fights out with those elbows, those forearms. No, it's still fighting out of the corner. Oh my goodness, you gotta believe, Jonas. These two know each other extremely well after the violent encounters they have withstood here at Pow Pro Wrestling. Vinny's still with scars showing on his body from those wars. I remember those, those beer cans, the barbed wire, the mouse traps. But that almost pales in comparison to what we have here in store for you. Vinny, Vinny Massaro now showing his dominance here. Trying to, no, look at that. A blind to look out. A blind tag made. Oh, ho, ho, oh big wait spear. a minute. Malcolm Flex catching him where he didn't see him coming. That shot from the back. Is that it? No. Flex is the legal man by all rights, folks. That's right, there was a blind tag. Funny Bone didn't see it. And now, what do we got here? Flex going to the top, a rare, rare position. Oh, look at this. Vinny, he's getting himself in here. I think he's pulling rank here as the leader of the family. Hey, it's his right to be able to finish off Funny Bone. After everything Funny Bone's taken from Wait him. Wait a minute, oh! And a little collision there in the in the corner by Massaro and Flex when they got caught jaw jacking. Oh! There's the knee! And just like that, Vinny is eliminated! And we are down to a one-on-one -on -one situation, Jonas. Can you believe this? Yeah, Joe, fan him off, why don't you? He's earned it. But wait a minute, Vinny has not left the ring. Mr. Ula La, that golden fool, standing on the apron, distracting Dick oh, Kick City. Oh, oh. Are right you kidding me? Right between the uprights. Look out! Oh, oh, oh. Giant shoulder tackle off the top! With the distraction, and Funny Bone has been pinned! Well, folks, in a bizarre turn of events, the Massaro family standing tall after a chaotic, frenetic eight-man tag team match. Brian Zane, Malcolm Flex just pinned the POW Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. He absolutely did. He absolutely did. He pinned the champion. A rare sight here at POW Pro Wrestling. And I tell you what, I think after a performance like that, I have a declaration to make. Tell him, mister. I tell you what I thought about that. First of all, that was a hell of a main event. A hell of a showing by the Masora family and by those violent, but Flex, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it like I see it, and that was a hell of a showing. You just been the Pound Pro Mason Heavyweight Champion. So as far as I'm concerned, I can see a championship match in your future.
A victory for the Masaro family. What a victory for legal precedent. Flex taking one for the team, setting Vincenzo Masaro for a title match, as I'm sure he wanted to do. Yes, definitely. It was a big win for your lawyers, uh, Roberto Fellini and uh, Parisian Gus, whatever his name Gianni is. Gianni Fellini and Pierre Leblou, get it right. Show some respect for the Esquires of the world, huh? Yes, I apologize. Well, needless to say, you managed to pull a fast one on me and Flex and everyone in the powder keg. It was Flex who got the pinfall win over Funny Bone, the Pow Pro Wrestling Champion. Not many people in Pow can say they've done that, but of course, 
course, thanks to your legal wrangling and that contract, now it's going to be Vinny Massar who's the number one contender. He's got what he wants, a future championship match against Funny Bone. But of course, we still have the special referee situation to sort out, and that's why I made that matchup. Flex versus Drexel, that's going to come up in a few weeks. The winner of that match will be the special guest referee in that championship match. Drexel, who knows what goes on in his mind, but I think after what we've seen in the last several months in the Massaro family, should Flex win the uh, right to be the referee, I wouldn't be surprised if he started thinking for himself outside of the Massaro family. That's a little above his pay grade. Well, we're going to have to wait and see what happens there. But of course, folks, that's going to do it for this week's edition of PAL Pro Wrestling. I'm going to go back to my office and start studying those PAL contracts. But you sit tight because next week we have more great action in store. It's a grudge match years in the making as the bad life choice Caden Cassidy battles Derek Shaw in a hard-hitting affair. Then in the main event, it's superhero versus action hero as the unbelievable Jaden takes on Pitfall Jones. That and much more coming your way, folks. But until then, for Mr. Ooh La La, I'm Brian Zane, and we'll see you next time.